My name is Melinda Goff and I am an associate professor in English and Cultural Studies and in Gender Studies and Feminist Research. And for the Gender Studies and Feminist Research program, I teach the current Debates in Gender and Feminist Theory course. Uh, so this year our focus is uh, queer, trans and feminist theories where they intersect and uh, have tensions with one another. I also am teaching the Knowledge in Action course, which is a year-long core course for the MA program, where students are paired in learning teams and work with a mentor from a local community organization on a social justice project that the uh, organization has identified as a priority and in which they could use graduate research help. I also teach uh, for GSFR the Women's Culture Power course, which is an introduction to women's studies. And actually my own research is on questions of power and as they're worked out uh, through culture in the early modern period. So by early modern, um, we would think of as the English Renaissance, which would be about the 16th century. But my own work is on France and Italy, as well as England. So it goes back to the mid 16th century and through till the early 17th century. Um, and in that work, I'm focusing on women as producers and consumers of elite culture, as well as popular culture. So in terms of popular culture, I'm very, very interested in um, popular performances. Um, so plays, for example, in England, um, in the public theaters, uh, where there would be thousands of people. And so I'm editing a play um, by an anonymous author called Sweatnam the Woman Hater, Arraigned by Women, which is actually based on a real historical misogynist figure who authored a tract against women in the period. Um, and then in terms of elite culture, I primarily focus on the French queen and her social and political and cultural roles. So uh, for that work, um, France is a really interesting case because uh, according to notions of Salic law, no woman could inherit the throne of France. But then that raises the question of where, where we might look for the creation of spaces for women's political agency and subjectivity. And where I'm looking is uh, the role of the French consort who has access to the sovereignty, to sovereignty through her marriage to the king, even though she herself could not rule. Through her marriage, she participates in his sovereignty and his status. And I'm looking at the ways in which the performance traditions that she engages as the consort um, allow her to participate um, in a larger politicization of the arts in early modern France. Uh, and in particular in performances that involve statecraft. So, for example, productions of court ballets in which not only the story of the ballet or the play uh, has a political resonance, but also who gets invited by whom and what the queen has to do with those uh, questions through her prerogatives as the patron and performer. Those are questions that are quite interesting and open up um, sort of new, th new ways of thinking about women and culture and power.